What's up everybody? Moving on to the next chapter, we're going to be talking about derivatives. And the word derivative is a common word that comes up in calculus, actually probably the most common word. And in this video, we're going to explain what it specifically is. And to begin the explanation, let's do a little bit of review. So in the previous chapter, if you remember, this expression here, the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, we kept running into this expression over and over again. And we had a couple of interpretations for this expression. One interpretation for it was it's the slope of the tangent of f of x at an x value of a. Another interpretation was the instantaneous rate of change of the function f of x at an x value of a. And now because this expression kept coming up in different questions and different interpretations, they decided to give this expression a name and the name is the derivative of f of x at an x value of a. So the derivative of a function, the instantaneous rate of change of a function, and the slope of the tangent of a function, they all mean the same thing. So because the concept of a derivative is the same as two of the concepts that we covered in the previous chapter, if you're not fully comfortable with those two concepts, the slope of a tangent and the instantaneous rate of change, I would pause this video and go review those concepts in the previous chapter before continuing on this video because when we discuss derivatives we're going to be using a lot of the concepts that we learned in those previous two sections. Now if you remember in the section when we discussed the slope of the tangent, the way we found it was in two different ways. We found it at a specific x value of a that we would just plug into this difference quotient or we would first find a general function for the slope of the tangent for which we can then plug in any x value of a and get that slope right away. Well, that general function for the slope of the tangent that we found is actually what the derivative function is and it's what we're going to be working with in this section now. So to give a more precise definition, the derivative of the function f of x with respect to x is the function f of prime x, this is just notation here for the derivative function, where f of prime x is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So notice how this expression here is the same one as this one here, except instead of a specific x value of a, we just put a general value of x. So we're going to get that general expression for the slope of a tangent, and then we can find the slope of the tangent at any x value by plugging it into that new derivative function. To better explain this, let's do a quick example. So if we have the function f of x equals x squared, we have to find f of prime x, and f of prime x is just notation for the derivative. So to find that derivative, we have to use this definition here, the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So then f of x plus h, if we plug it into this function, would just be x plus h squared minus f of x, which is just simply x squared. And then when we foil out this bracket here, we'd have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. And then notice how these x squareds here, they cancel out. And then continuing this up here from that remaining numerator of 2xh plus h squared, we can factor out an h because we're trying to get rid of that h in the denominator. So when we factor that out, the h's cancel out and we're just left with the limit as h goes to zero of 2x plus h and now we can plug in zero for h. So when we do that, we're just left with two x. So two x represents the derivative of the function x squared. And we got that by using this general expression here. So this represents the slope of the tangent at any x value on this function. So if we want to know the slope of the tangent for f of x equals x squared at an x value of 3, we would just plug in 3 into the derivative function and we get 6. So the slope of the tangent at an x value of 3 for the function x squared is equal to 6. Now one more thing I want to make note of before finishing off this video. This notation f of prime x for the derivative of a function f of x can be written in other ways. So you can have notation y prime x 
or this weird kind of looking notation dy by dx. So whenever you see one of these three, they're just asking for the derivative of the function f of x or of the function y. So overall, this is pretty much exactly the same as the algebra or as the concept that we covered in the slope of the tangent section, except instead of finding the slope of the tangent at a specific point, usually when we're finding the derivative, we're gonna be finding it now at a general value of x. So the derivative we get is gonna be a function itself, and then when we want a specific slope of a tangent or a specific derivative at an x value, we just plug that x value into the derivative. Hence why I told you to go back and review the slope of the tangent section because the algebra that we're gonna be using in this section is the exact same as the type of algebra that we did in that section, as you can see with the very similar types of expressions for the derivative and the slope of the tangent. So derivative of a function basically is defined by this expression here, and it's the same thing as the slope of the tangent of a function or the instantaneous rate of change of a function. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.